Hi, I'm just me. Hi, I'm Ragash. And we are here reviewing Deep Blue Sea. Before we start, yes, it's the wrong franchise, but this is the right shark, so it balances out. <laughs> So, I hadn't seen this movie before, so this was a first time watch for me, and I felt so bad for the sharks. So, so bad for the sharks. It was an awful situation for them. I've decided that we're just going to spoiler everything. This is a spoilery review. It, no, no one said anything. No one's really had time to say anything. I'm not good at time management. But we're just, we're gonna spoil everything and then comment below whether or not you hate us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, the movie. One of my favorites. Uh, it was about an experiment gone wrong. They had, were looking for a cure for Alzheimer's and it looked like they had found it. And, uh, well, the side effect to this, or the upshot of this, was the sharks also got smarter. In an attempt to make their brains larger so that they could harvest more of the protein that would make the Alzheimer's cure? Yeah. They accidentally made them smarter. Yeah. And, th and then they went around killing everybody. Yeah. <laughs> well, there were some pretty cruel moments. Oh, like... When I saw what they did with that one shark, when they dropped it in the tank with the other sharks. See, that's just feeding, though. That's that's just kind of a nature thing. That's like giving a snapping turtle a goldfish. Or giving a worm to a frog. That's Yeah, I don't know. I watch that and I just see nature happening. And really bad effects. The effects don't... The effects? Wow. The special effects don't necessarily hold up very well. The CG is not not as good as it could be, but amazing for what it was. Because this came out in like 99, right? And what year does part two come out in? This one, I believe. 2018? Yes. I have it on pre-order. Amazon said it's been delayed, but it's coming. But it's already in Walmart friend of mine showed me the, the copy he has. So yeah. I just love everything about this movie. <laughs> I love that the sharks aren't great whites. Did you know that they're not great whites? Fun fact, these aren't great whites. And the shark that they eat that she was just talking about, also not a great white. Yeah. That's one thing I hate about shark movies is that it's always great whites, or it seems like it's always great whites. Everything yeah. we know about sharks, it's like great whites. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> well, there's more than just the great whites. Yes. And I Lots tru more. truly appreciate that these sharks are mako sharks. And the small shark was a, a tiger shark. And, and in the sequel, I think they're bull sharks. I'm excited. But we're talking about this movie now. So, these genetically, accidentally, genetically engineered sharks, um, they basically break a giant window and get into the facility. And the facility's like a small little government facility, it's... Okay, it's a government facility and it's built underwater. And the underwater parts go down for several levels, right? Mm -hmm. And what the sharks do is they flood the, each of the levels, right? Basically making it easier for their escape. Mm -hmm. And the humans actually end up, in a strange way, helping them along the way. It's... The end explains everything, but nothing ever makes sense in the movie. Like... They, they make these, like, random revelations throughout the thing, like, the sharks are smart. 
the sharks are trying to sink the sit the facility. I must call it a city. It's not a city. Trying to sink the facility, and these the sharks are trying to jump the fence, and it's like. But in between these random, this is what's happening. There's just like such randomness. The deaths are so bizarre. And, I don't know, I watch horror movies, horror movies, for the deaths. We all do. Right? I was cheering for the sharks, I'm sorry, <laughs> but... <laughs> the, the way things were going for them... Mm, I felt really bad for the sharks. See, I felt bad for the people, too, because it was only the one scientist that actually knew that they were being genetically altered. Yeah. Everybody else was just there trying to do their job. Trying to actually, like make a difference. So she screwed the sharks and the people and then everybody died. And that's the movie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Next time I should take notes. There's so many things I want to say but I don't know what order I want to say them in. Uh, I like it. I like that it's not great whites. Like I said, the... CG doesn't really hold up very well, but if you just kind of cross your eyes a little bit, it's fine. <laughs> if you let yourself get lost in the story with a lot of old movies like this, or even older, you need to let yourself get lost in the story, or you're going to get ruined completely. I actually, oh, speaking of ruined, I accidentally ruined this for myself when we were watching it. I didn't mean to, that I was looking too closely. I wasn't in the story, I was just watching the movie, and I realized that there's a severe difference between the stated size of the sharks and the perceived size of the aquatica uh, hallways that the terrifying sharks are stalking them through. This shark wouldn't actually fit. It, it wouldn't fit. Inside Aquatica, it couldn't be attacking them from the inside. And all the sharks are supposed to be as big as this. Or, or more. So... Just destroy that for me. <laughs> but like I said, if you ignore the ridiculousness... I found it very entertaining. And, um, LL Cool J... He was pretty funny to me. And um, Samuel Jackson's death scene. Oh my god. <laughs> that is how you do a death scene. Yes. That is how you do it. Yeah, that so, is how you do it. Spoiler. <laughs> He's giving this motivational speech. They've, they've come down to the, uh, I don't even know, wet lock or whatever, and they can take the submarine out, but the submarine was eaten by sharks. So they're there, and they're fighting, because that's what you do in that particular part of the movie. And, um, Samuel Jackson's character is giving this, like, awesome motivational speech about how they're gonna stick together, and they're gonna get out of here, and everything's gonna be fine if they work together. And then he gets eaten by a shark. The shark just <laughs> comes out from behind him and grabs him. She's hmm. like, I'm doing things, and ow! Yeah. And the effects don't really hold up very well. I mean, after... But it was, it was good. <laughs> after it was funny, too, at the same time. Hmm. That was funny. It's like, it's shocking, and then you start laughing, and then you start thinking about how ridiculous this whole movie is. Hmm. But that's the point of it. It's ridiculous. It's a monster movie. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I can't wait to see part two. I know, I'm, like, dying. <laughs> I can borrow my buddy's copy. <laughs> we have we have things we need to do. Uh, so comment below. Are we are we borrowing a copy of Deep Blue Sea 2 or are we gonna wait for Amazon to send me my copy? I I guess I really just need our own copy so that we can put it on the shelf. Because that's what we do. Yeah. Put stuff on the shelf. <laughs> So that happened. Like this if you liked this half-assed review. Comment. 
subscribe for new videos Mondays and Fridays, hit the notification button, and just keep showing up on Mondays and Fridays. There will be a video here. We are here. Whether YouTube tells you or not, we are here. Yeah, and do make sure to comment because we we need to know how we're doing here. Like, do you like what you see? Hit like, what? comment, any kind of interaction. What would you like to see? Any kind. <laughs> Just put it in the comment section. Yeah. And share. Share whatever videos that you, you liked or got a kick out of. And join us next time because we're going to rearrange the shelves. <laughs> That's... That's gonna be fun. Those shelves. One thing from every episode. We've been doing this for quite a while. Bye! And it's underwater? Yeah. It's... it... Bleh. Mm-hmm. <laughs>